Hello, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> the Sunfall Cycle. <laughs> Got us at the end there. Chat with the funny jokes. Oh, my God. Dem, Hello, dem everyone. Jokes. Uh oh, oh nice, Jesse. We've Hi. got the, the YouTubes in the you. background of yeah, our. Uh... We're on the wrong screen, but that's all right. Look, that is a great ass song. It should be on that screen. Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Hi, everyone. Make no apologies. Thanks for uh, tuning in on this late start to a weird time zone day. Uh, the world needs to get on the same page. What if every time was the same time? Just put what it out if there. every time of the same? What if we didn't do daylight savings time ever? What if there were no time Period. zones? What if didn't every time was the same time? We picked one yes. time. It was all the same time. So, Obviously, it should be 7, 11 p.m. right now. Yeah. I think we can matter. all agree. Yeah. And you can look, look, my bedtime will say is like 4 a.m. to, you know, 11 a.m. And that's yeah. not a problem because then somewhere else was like, I'm at work at 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. We all just agree. We all just fucking agree. Yep. And we that's all know. it. Done. Yep. There's a world we standard time and we're done. WST. We could call it WST. We're already thinking. We're already thinking the same thing. I'm just putting it out there. It I was just talking about this yesterday and somebody told me there is already an international standard time put forward by Swatch called Beats, the Beat system or whatever. Oh, I hate that. It doesn't it's not like Wist. Wist yeah. sounds so much better. It's not like Jesse Wist standard. Wist does sound time. better. Wistful. Yeah, just just do it. Yeah. Worcestershire. Yes. See? Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire time. Worc Worcestershire. That, I, I have like such a hard time saying like that word. It's impossible by everybody. Yeah. If you it's just not, start with possible. like Equally. Worsh Bruns and then just kind of shushter, like just Worcestershire. Start with Wor, add a shushtish in there and then end with an er and you're pretty much there. Worcestershire. It's there. That was so close. That was so close. I did it. There you go. It's not, yeah. it's not yeah. Worcestershire. What the hell is See, this? Is why that's there. the perfect time zone. Let's call this it that because no one like can pronounce a, it. A Worcestershire time. We all suffer equally together. Yeah. Worcestershire time is how we schedule this show. We tell people yes. when we're going to be here, and then we follow Worcestershire time and then show up when we show up. Yes. On our Worcestershire time clock. The Worcestershire day is a 28 hour day. Yeah. So, yeah. If there were ever aliens that were to take the form of humans, very similar to like Cylons or something like that in a Star Galactica-esque alternate timeline. Here we go. And we na, needed na, a na, test na, 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 na. to ascertain who is a real human, who's an alien. We All we have to do is ask them, how do you pronounce this? Because they would be like, Worcestershire, and we just shoot them. <laughs> yep. It's a fucking toaster. But if they're like, Worcestershire, sure, sure. It'd be like, oh, that's a human. Yeah, yeah come on through. Yeah. Pass to the checkpoint. You, know, <laughs> you next. Worcestershire. Touche. <laughs> like, it'd be like the perfect test. And we <laughs> we would find all the aliens just like by asking them, how do you pronounce this word? And they would be like, Worcestershire. Nope. That's War, War, reminds me, that reminds me of a lot of Game Or if they can say it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's inspired it's by that. The zombie them. one. Yeah, they're my biggest the inspiration. Zombies are rolling up the windows as they're walking by. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The it's racist really zombies. Good. And they're like having a cookout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just imagining that oh. like robot meeting where they figure it out and they're like, everyone stop saying it correctly. Yeah. I we cannot. My program will not allow me to say <laughs> one for sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> we don't have the technology we traveled all these light years to shoot anyone with american accent yeah okay. chat's not wrong <laughs> oh because that's God. canadian too sorry steven i mean when i was like i, I literally learned how to say worcestershire in in college not college high oh. school because i was like oh yeah worcestershire and my mom was like oh honey no <laughs> just as guilty as the rest of us then oh yeah you would have been killed yeah under, i would have been dead under bronze is the new killed season program one. yeah you would have been, been, been shot <laughs> robot only, alien right yeah here. you're an alien you said it you didn't struggle you didn't say worse the worst the western the worst nope now let's I said, oh yeah it's worcestershire it's, you know under who bronze named plan. that sauce what is that named after like what lord is right? lord it's named after a town in in the uk 
It's so um, embarrassing when you find out you've been saying something wrong for the longest time. My mom used yeah. to police oh, dispatch and they'd all like like mutter and laugh because she used to say, oh, it's off of Bordox. And they'd be like, can you say that again? She'd be like, Bordox? And no one ever told her it's Bordeaux. Oh, Nobody. Yeah. So she would just say it and they'd all like giggle. And she finally figured it out. And she's like, motherfuckers. Oh. I've been saying yep. Bordox for three years. Bordox. Uh, try, yeah, try running Pendragon. Yeah, no! no, God, it's that's that's like, uh, you know, like Southbury. level level 10 GMing right there is that's like, Southbury. oh, shit. How the hell do I pronounce these names? And then all of the Welsh names are all just C W Y C Y Y W C. And yep. you're like, that's Jennifer. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Craig. <That's> sweet. <laughs> yeah. I have such what a hard time with uh... that, too, because I used to say like, oh, yeah, like Arthur Pendragon and people would be like. Who? They would never pen, correct pen, me. Pendragon. 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 Come in, Bronze. Can you say that again, please, Pendra Bronze? Yeah, basically. I was like, people would sit there and they'd say, they'd say it again. Pendragon. Pendragon. Because there's no, there's no hyphenation or anything. It doesn't seem like it would be Pendragon. That's like two different names. It's true. If you've never seen, like, heard it said and you only read it. Mm. Yeah. Oh it's man! Like a tiny All dragon this is what that lives on a writing implement. Okay, or, or those lawhead books. I have them all. I butchered every fucking name in it. Yeah. And I would be but like, like yeah, the book by Stefan Lawhead. It's the the Talison Tal 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 Tali Talis Talison Talison Tal Talison. Where the fucking is the e in that? Honestly, fuck English in general. Thank yeah. you for coming to my you TED talk. This Wait, is why you, you don't guys... make fun of people who read, or, like who only see something reading. Like, yeah, I only saw it in reading. Read, like I when I read and there's like a name that I'm just like, this is hard to figure out. I don't know the right way to say this, and I like try out a couple different type like ways, and then my brain can't decide on which way to pronounce it, so I just give them a new name. Like I'm like, you're yeah. Joe now. So every time I see these yeah. letters mushed together, it's Joe, and I know who Joe is, and like I just rename. I lived That's in amazing. India. I've never thought of that when I was my brain reading is the Harry like, Potter how did books. I decide to pronounce Hermione? these. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I had yeah. such a hard time with Hermione. I used to call it Herm, Hermi, Herm, 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 Hermione, Hermi, yeah, Hermione, Hermione. Yeah, Her Hermione, Hermione is what I used to say. Hermione. <laughs> I think I used to say Hermione. Hermione, yeah, Hermione. Her Her and then I was like, oh, Hermione. And I was like, well, no, I didn't get this right. Movie came out from like Des Moines. Uh, yeah, so she was right? mentally renamed to Hermie. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Well, I just called her Hermie in my head. <laughs> I liked it the, the entire time in your that. story. It's like, Harry, have you seen Hermie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I was like, man. I don't know how to pronounce this. And it could be one of these various Hermie. ways. And I just can't I like decide. So I just don't. Hermie. I like that she actually had Hermione's like pronounce her name out for a foreign student in order to help her audience understand how to pronounce yeah. Hermione's name. It totally didn't work. Not All right, Hermie. folks. <laughs> We've got a short session today on account oh, of yeah, the, we're doing the, the disconnect between is. the EU and the US in, uh, in daylight savings time. So let's get started. Britt Wiseman. Oh no. Directly in front of you, there's this massive oh, hulking bear like woman. Oh, oh we're boy. in the middle of a boss fight. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. We oh, are in the middle shit. of a boss fight. Oh, <laughs> oh. We're down here. Shit. Oh no. I oh, cop man. on it. And give it a viral. Immunity. Yeah, in, no. in, in three weeks, perhaps it will start to develop symptoms. God damn it. Foiled Gosh, again. We just have to hold out that long. Shields up, everyone. <laughs> Now stand shield 15. Wall. What are we? Is this Vikings? Shield wall. <laughs> no, no, right. no, 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 not a shield wall. Shields up. We have to stand 15 feet apart from each other. We can't get too close. <laughs> oh, my. That's right. Social distancing. Social distance. Okay. All, All I right. have to Coffee say no is blood, the Sunfall Cycle is the first officially coronavirus approved Dungeons and Dragons stream. Wait, so wait, 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 thank you all for joining. By the virus itself? It's like, guys. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, want exactly. to be approved by and that horrible virus. Have you seen the the little? I don't want that endorsement. Have you seen the cute little cartoon of it? No, it's not the, cute. There's a song. What? Yeah, what? the Wash Your About Hands song. And there's like a cute little yeah. Corona, and he's got a little crown, and he's like, ah. Oh, that like uh, that awesome pop song. Uh, yeah, 
But I love the little cur- I'm sorry, I stand it. It's so cute. It's like it reminds me of like a nerglet. Like something Papa Nurgle will come up come up with in like Warhammer. He's just like Rah! And then they step on him. I want I want him to have his own cartoon series. Where he just gets stepped on. I haven't seen this, but I clearly mm-hmm. need to look it up. Oh, on you do! Oh my god, that song is bop. an earworm. It is so good. I've been walking around going Corona, Corona, scaring the hell out of people because that <sighs> song is like so catchy. Yeah, it's about washing your hands for twenty seconds, limiting yep. your exposure to other people, and I just recite the litany against fear. There you go. <laughs> All right, Ankara, uh, what do you do? I, I do all star, so. I'm not be, right in front of it, so I'm still a bit of ways. Yeah, uh, you're like uh, five feet away. Yeah, so I probably want to move um, first. Um, let's see. We wanted to like spread out, right, guys? But the ogre zombies over there. You're almost, Kairos almost killed that. We have this thing left, and then these like little guys are going to rise up, probably, right? Yep. So, rise okay. Up. Yeah, the death druid's gonna act Oops, after why you. Did that so. happen? Sorry, I just got kicked out of roll twenty for some reason. Oh my god! Coming it's back. Over. Um, I'll just I'll shoot him with an arrow for right now. Sweet. I'm gonna run. Uh, so roll that quick. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Can I go through. Um, yes. Nice. Okay. Looks like you got a 13. Let me see what it's uh, armor class is. Yeah, you hit. Oh, thank God. I did something. For four. For four damage. Very well uh, done. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to just kind of go over here, I guess. Uh, I don't want to get cut off. I'll just move. Well, they have a long. Mm. I'll just spread out a little bit more so I and I aren't like. That cool. together, so I'll just go there. As you move away, she lunges in your direction, ah! biting with an outstretched neck. Wow. Hitting you with a 17 for 24 piercing damage. Great. Good that feels like an even trade. Good God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. Are we still gonna do our plan? Or we're trying to get her like in box. Yeah, I don't. We fire? should like, discuss this. We're cause... not close to that at all. No. Do we that, not have a the... knockback or a pushback or a? I do, but she's moved so far forward. It would take me two tries to get her back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have to hit with both. Yeah. I guess you is what I'm saying. You would have to move. You would have to move there. And All like right. Well, horse, um, kind of yeah. This 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 half bear, half woman creature goes tearing across the ground, uh, chasing in your direction, in Kara. Let's oh. see. She Do I get an op attack? She's outside of your threat range. Oh. So let's Should see. Five, ten, there. fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Yep, totally. And then she's going to multi-attack. First, making a lunging bite. Hitting you. Oh, I'm gonna die, guys. Bye. Oh. Or 18 piercing damage. I so died. Strong. I should have just turned into an animal. We waited a whole week for this. Yep. <laughs> I'm dead. Let's Who see has shards of healing? Die. 25. I, I have one, yeah. but I don't think I like. Ah, uh, you're dead though. I have two. You're then, dead. I'm out. And then she turns away from your broken body, a- and she points with one outstretched claw in the direction of Aya. Huh. And this black shadowy energy forms around her claw and then streaks oh, great. the We're air. We're lined up. That's amazing. Oh, perfect. Causing this, <laughs> causing this like Guys. scintillating uh, like void of light that fires away. Let's We're, see. And that's a 60 so foot rain. <laughs> We're gonna have to regroup and come back and try again. Oh yeah, no totally. No way we awesome. survive this Bullshit. shit. Yes. It no ends at Sarek. This what a bull- nightmare. This is bullshit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is so, so bad. So let's see. Sarek, what's your AC? I, that's 16. a miss. That's a miss. And that's a miss for you. Um, but every target between you and Ursa must make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. You can do DC it. DC 16? Do it. 15. Uh, never mind. 15. Yep. Do, we get, do we get an advantage on that, Eric? I don't remember if you had bless up or not. <laughs> bless Eric, give it can you save us? Oh, Eric, can you save us? Uh, Eric, do you have rules that can make this not That's happen? Amazing. 
All right, let's see how much damage y'all take. 18 necrotic damage. All right. Eric, this ogre zombie stands over you with this heavy, like, it's like a length of femur or something like that, but it's all knobbly and gnarled as if the bone itself was diseased. And this ogre zombie brings it slamming down in your direction, missing you entirely, just utterly whiffing. Aya, mm -hmm. it's your turn. Okay. Killing Kara. Um, I don't have a way to do I it. I mean, yeah. And like, then also... kill the zombie in front of me. I can do that. Because yeah. then I can heal Ankara. Okay. 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 So I am going to, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to try to move out of this thing's range a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Good idea. I'm going to try to hide behind Kairos a little bit without yep. maybe standing too close. So I'm going to move. I think that that spot's probably pretty good. Okay. Okay. I would so rather I'm, move to the fire, but. Because if, the... if we're going to eventually draw to the fire, you might be able to get a cheeky push in there. Oh, and then we won't be lined up either. Okay. All right. So I'm going to wait. Oh, God. I just had the space marked and then I unmarked it. Okay. So no, no. I'm going to go. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go there. Okay. Now remind me of that spot while I track my character. Thank you. Here it is. <laughs> okay. Cool. You got it. Okay. And then I actually, I marked it down that I have advantage because I used my Entropic Ward last round yep. and it yep. missed. So um, do I get advantage on both beams of the Eldritch Blast or just one? Um, uh, uh, I'm going to rule it in your favor. I think you get advantage on both. Okay. Like okay. that's because it's one spell. I'm giving you advantage to the spell. Like if you, if you were like making two attacks, then it would just be the first attack. But like I don't know. All right. This, this All is right. generous ruling. So, um, well, actually, never mind. Uh, because it only works against the creature that I was that missed me, and I believe that was the boss and not. Yes, the that was zombie. Ursa. Yep. So, uh, the first beam of Eldritch Blast. I'm gonna aim at the ogre zombie. Cool. Nailed him. 10 damage. And he disintegrates. His bones oh, go yes. scattering across the floor. <laughs> okay. And so uh, the second beam I'll aim at the... No. At what? Sorry. It's a zombie, right? <sighs> oh, right. We got we to gotta roll. It's... Um, they have a constitution check. Yeah, it's true. Let's see. So unless it's taking a radiant or critical hits... Then it rolls five plus the damage taken, so a DC 15 constitution saving throw. Meow. It dies. Okay. Ah, yay! Yep, okay. totally. And then the second beam of my Aldrich Blast, or rather tentacle, uh, streaks out towards Ursa, and this one would have an advantage. Cool. No, ah! dude, look at that shit. Nice. She takes 14 damage, and she Four. travels 10 feet back. Yep. Ah, boof. She lands on the far side of Ankara's poor broken body. Oh. <laughs> All right, Kairos, your turn. This skeleton, this zombie just disintegrated in front of you. Yep. Problem is, how is it? It's standing on top of Ankara? Yes. I mean, it's not like literally like a foot on Ankara. It's in the same fighting space. Okay. Well, I need to revive Ankara. Uh, there's no way for me. Okay, what would happen if I try to do a? Oh, let me see how. What's the range of me to get there? Uh, that's not. Okay, I don't know if I can get to. Yeah, I would have to double move to get to Inkara. Otherwise, I have to burn all of my charges to lay on hands at range and heal people might be a, a waste um gee dang it i can't that's okay i think no see the thing is that okay you're right uh i'm going to have to use one of my charges to let sark do an attack on on the uh thing so that's what so i'm gonna move as well but i'm gonna move in a different direction so we don't get hit in the line uh so i'm gonna have to move closer to it one Three. Or I guess I'm just gonna have to move about here. Okay, so here's what happens. Uh, Cairo, Cairo charges forward, but rather than bringing out his javelin, he brings out his standard uh, and waves it out to Sarek. 
uh, and just be like, Zark, take the shot. And uh, so I'm going to burn one of my standard charges to give you to use as a reaction to make you attack. Yeah. And does he have advantage on that attack? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> no, you're yes? right. Sorry. No, I was, I was thinking about uh, my my special, but yeah, that's not how that works. So. All right, Jesse, take a shot. Mm, yeah, I mean, okay, here we go. Uh, can you insightful to? Uh, I don't know if you can. I, I, no, it's not his turn. So this is uh, he's well, just making okay. a fire. Yeah, Maybe I'm just firing on your uh, turn. I guess. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, Stephen Chat just said to the wall of fire is gone because I'm down. Oh yeah. Chat, oh my god, damn. What's the wall of fire gone? Well, we could push her in the corner and wall it <clears> off, though. Sure. That's it's true. actually probably easier right now. Actually, yeah. making a half wall of fire around them would not be a bad idea. Yeah, because she'd she'd be like, "We are we are killing Inkara." <laughs> yeah, that would that would kill Brit. Um, Sarek, you hit, That's so fine. go ahead and roll damage. You can sacrifice. Cool, ten piercing damage. You don't get your sneak attack because you don't sure. meet the conditions. But hey, ten damage is ten damage. All right, so let's see. Um, Ursa. Ursa moves here. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then fires a necromantic beam at uh, Sarek. Uh, what's your AC, Sarek? I think that hits you. Uh, it is 16. 16? Okay, it misses you. Yeah. Um, yes, so go ahead and make a, that dexterity saving throw. You nailed it. Uh, that means you only take half damage. So you take uh, seven damage, Kairos. The uh, plus 12 was in, in the event of her hitting that critical. that advantage critical, but she did not. Then she runs towards you, Wait, Kairos. Wait, this is necrotic. It is necrotic, yes. Oh, well, then I should actually take half of that as well. Then you take three damage because of your ring. And then that means I also only took, uh, I took 18 last turn. Yeah, so you only I took nine. nine. So go ahead and give yourself nine back. back. Yep, yep, yep. I took the full amount because I only have a uh, poison can you, ring. Can you explain that to me just because I'm an idiot? Oh, um, yeah, no problem. So what you see is when I get zapped by like the enervating black uh, tendrily sure. smoke that is necromatic energy, my ring like glows and absorbs most of it. Oh, right. I, I, I'm more talking so, about the numbers that popped up on the screen were damage 15 plus 12 necrotic. So my question yeah, for so you is, is it overall a total of 27 necrotic or is it... 15 damage no. plus 12 necrotic. No, this is a little bit confusing and it's because the attack that was rolled as if there was maybe advantage or disadvantage rolled a 27 on the off die. Okay. Which means that it displays crit damage even if you, you're not using the critical die roll, which we're not. Ah. So if Ursa had crit, she would have dealt 27 necrotic damage. She didn't crit, which means she's only doing 15 necrotic damage. Kairos saved his dexterity save, which means he takes half of that. It always rounds down, so half of 15 is seven. But Kairos has a ring that halves the necrotic damage he takes, so he takes half rounded yeah. down of seven, which is three. So gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's the way that you breaks can, down. You, you don't always have to roll like the, the, the chance of advantage yeah. or disadvantage it's toggle you can query you it wanted to. you can query it if you wanted it to but we just yep. do it that way just because it's a little bit ex more expedient yep yeah it's quicker but there's sometimes where like sometimes like this it just creates weird yeah. weird dice um ursa slashes at you with a claw eric right, it's gonna be an 18 uh that's hit at you <laughs> <laughs> you were confident and it deals you 22 slashing damage Excuse you? Okay. Yes. Oh, not not I resistant love that. to that. Incredulous. Excuse you? <laughs> Can't pardon you. All right, Sark, you've got um uh you've got sneak attack opportunities now. Mm -hmm. Anybody All want right. a biscoff? Shoot the Jay. Get Do us it. through this dark time. A Kairos biscoff, is... my lord. I would love this. <laughs> My lord? Here's the thing. <laughs> my lord? I've decided it's a thing I'm doing. I need to I need if to burn. If can malady people, I should be able to my lord people. 
I, yeah, you should. It's Women's Month. <laughs> yeah, no, Someone, agree. Lord, I'm going to do it Renfair style. Someone needs to bring in Kara up. Or okay. someone. I can't do it. It has to be Now that else. we've all taken damage, I can maybe take a round to, to heal everybody. Uh, but the, the thing is, though, is that I really think that I'm I'm gonna have to step up and do a lot of damage. This this this. Yeah, just crazy. I mean, go do what you need to do. But with like, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm about to blow die. her up. Yeah, we all. I don't I'm know. nuking her. I've got two. I got both my spell slots that, ready to go. I'm that health her. bar is not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, if nuke, so real nuke hours. If I'm gonna like so much. goof with this fire, um. Kairos is like in it, right? If I use What's it now, fire? there's there's no fire. I have fire. I can make oh, the fire. Tell me, tell me more about what fire you want to goof with. Well, I have the wall of fire level four. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. But I, so what I don't that know lets that you I want do it because I don't know Kairos's range within. What that lets you do is it lets you create. Um, let's it see. It burns on like one side of it. Show though. this to you. Yeah, you can you can set the. I wish I could just like click this and make it be in chat. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on Ursa's spell list and then cast it so you can read the description. <laughs> this is not Ursa casting Wall of Fire. Yeah, click, bloop. What, no. <sighs> Damn, that's, uh, that's crazy. Do that, show description. Huh. Okay, now I don't know how to show description in chat. So it's uh, fire. It has to be taking added a to wall a spell shape. List. Yes. All right, never mind. Ignore that. So, okay. wall of fire. Uh, <laughs> you create a wall of fire that's like um, what? 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and one foot thick. And any creature within the area of the wall of fire must make a a dexterity saving throw when the wall of fire appears on a failed save it takes 5d8 fire damage or half as much on a successful save so you can like draw it straight through yeah there you go you can draw it straight through ursa in order to make her take that saving throw um one side of the wall of fire is like projecting jets of flame and that deals 5d8 fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side of the wall Basically, I am trying, I'm going to draw a thing. My apologies to your beautiful map here. Uh, I'm thinking like, like, what can I do to, you know, like we were doing before or that, like that. Yep, totally. Or I, but yeah. can I make it go like that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> like yeah, I, I think so. So like, let's see, that's 30 feet and that's what. You have to make it sharper. Right. Yeah, you yeah. you could do like this, right, to there, and then like to there, in order to like completely cut her off and force her to move through the wall. Yeah, it also yeah. blocks line of sight, though. That's true. But what if which it's means like... she won't be shooting her goddamn fire blast or death blast at us, and then we could heal. And then Kara's on the other side of it. That's actually really good. God, I'm so smart. Okay, yeah, yep. uh, that's what I want to do. I want to use my wall of fire level four. And I could Super always good. knock her back into it if I yeah. manage to hit her. Exactly. I, I mean, if we want to, if we want to be extra as hell, since I, well, I'm going to go after she goes. I was going to say I could black tentacle her to make it more difficult for her to get out. Yeah. Uh, can you create a pit? You can't create a pit, can you? I can't create a pit. Uh, no, okay. but I can make it difficult terrain, and I can uh, have her have to pass a dexterity check to get out of it, and then she'd just be stuck in there. So is that what you're doing, yeah. Sarek? Yes. So as a bonus happen. action, you pull out this icon of Wall of Fire, and it crumbles to ash in your hand. Yeah. You can't cast web, can you? Because web burns like a fireball, too. No. Me? Okay. Yeah. I don't think anybody has web. Okay. Maybe in Kara. But yeah, this Wall of Fire erupts <laughs> and just completely obscures Ursa. She immediately has to take a dexterity saving throw or take 5d8 damage. Get Dexterity ready. saving throw, fourteen. I think. Uh, uh, man, what's your spell save? The spell yeah, level. Was, what was the spell the level, level is level four. I think that's um, like a D sixteen. Is what I think. Well, that means right? it's intelligence. <laughs> it's intelligence plus proficiency. Yes. Yeah. Like, You're not proficient. Your intelligence modifier, Sorry. 
What now? What's your intelligence modifier, Sark? Oh, I'm so smart. Uh, <laughs> two is my intelligence. Hey, cool. Then your proficiency bonus right now is five, so I'm going to say your spell save DC is 15. I was close, yeah. Bronze. You she were close. fails. You were close. Barely. Please roll 5d8. Twenty-one, not bad. That's standard average damage on five D eight. That helps Mar did nice. not move <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but and she then liar now. yes, Plus and now it's still it's still your turn, Sarek, and you can take your full action now. <laughs> that was a bonus action because you spent your the spell icon that you bought last time you were on the moon. Okay. Um, what is what can we do for Inkara right now? What are my options Yo. as me, as a as a big nerd burger? Uh, can I get? Uh, why am I drawing? So you cast it an act. Your action was to cast that spell. No, that was a bonus action. Shit. Spell icons are bonus work. action items. You could take the dash action and get up to her. That's what I'm you? thinking. Yeah. Then that would be to... two moves, and then you have nothing left to kill her. Yeah, but he could get her next time. Um, what this moon shard of healing? Do I need to like be above? Can I like chuck it at her? <laughs> you need to be. You need to be adjacent to her to use the moon shard of healing. Yeah, it's true. All right. Now you've I'm... got. Sorry. Yeah. You sorry. you you could run straight through the wall of fire. Not happening. No. 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 I think even then you still can't make it because she's seventy feet away. No, I say just dash over there. You did. You dealt a good amount of damage to her this time. I mean, it's not ideal, but we kind of need her. Up. That's my. That's just my two cents. Like, yeah, you'll have to burn your action moving over there, but us being spread out like that isn't necessarily a bad thing anyway. Um. Okay. I think she can't see you. You're like, she's not like, she can't, she doesn't know you're there. Yeah. Um, your by, last by known way, position is over here. Like she's not going to like over on the other side. She's not going to know that you're there. Yeah. By the, by the way, Sark, I want to give you the full benefit of your turn. You could decide that you shot at her first and then used your spell icon. So like, if you want to do the damage from shooting your bow and doing your sneak attack, then that's fair. Okay. Um, sure. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll stay back there, I guess. Um, but because I want to make it harder for whatever's about to happen, can I make sure that I move to, like... I'm trying to... Where's a thing that is not in line with this asshole right here? Kairos, god damn it. Um, Sorry, buddy. Like, I want to... This isn't a straight line, so okay. Uh, yeah, right here, and then I'm going to shoot this lady cool yep awesome but i Oof. didn't but unfortunately a nine is not enough all right cool then you make the wall of fire and that's frustrated. it i'm like oh, damn it and i set her ablaze all right and cara will you be the first person to roll a natural 20 in this show on her uh, death saving throws i i'm just, i'm astonished like we haven't had this happen yet i doubt it um Okay, that's one success. All right, the Death Druid starts starts her turn. Um, a creature that takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. So she's going to need to enter the wall in order to get out of it. So first of all, she moves running this direction. Yeah, I think she's gonna move here first. So that's five, 10, yeah, five, 10. Cool. Um, so she has to, yeah, one side of the wall deals 5d8 damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet. A creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. I think she just straight up takes 5d8 damage by this writing here. So Jesse, please roll. But just a straight up 5d8 damage? Yep. I don't think she gets a save. It Oh. Okay. There you go. 23. Not bad at all. All right. And then, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, I think the Death Druid is going to bite Claw Kairos. So lunging bite, missing, and then raking a claw over your shield. This one hits you for 28 slashing damage. Okay. Why? 
She got sharp claws. Why is she like that? All right, Aya. Dad. It's All time. Right. It's, it's time to unload. Roll. I have a question. I see you're rolling 3D10, and if all I... of that is well above average. If yes. I push her. <laughs> okay. Okay. If yeah. I push her. Yep. Can she move through Kairos? Like, is that yeah. a unit collision a thing? Um, I think I would give Kairos a dex save to, to dodge her. Don't do it. You could, you could, for example, like move down here and, and hit then push her, her up towards the peak. Yeah, exactly. And then that would not risk yeah, running into Kairos. Good. All right. Okay. Playing okay. druid billiards. Oh my God. Right? Okay. And I don't These think- These are good tactics. All right. All right. So I'm going to move down here. No, I don't want to be in anybody's line. And then I think that will still, and then she'll go boom. Yep. Boom. Okay. Totally. Okay. So- I just have to hit her once, I think, to knock her back far enough, right? She's so large. It's a 10-foot thing, right? Yeah. She's so large. Okay. All yeah, right. I'm gonna hit there. her. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit her with the Eldritch Blast. Cool. Oh God. Hit her with the E B. That didn't work. You hit. What with an um, eleven? She's such a large and bulky target. <gasps> and she, oh, she's kind of lumbering. She's not very skilled on her feet. You nail her right in the chest. So I have a question now. Since Eldritch yeah. Blast has two, it's like two beams is how it's described. Mm -hmm. Would the second one hit even though the wall of fire will then obscure her? I imagine this as being basically you firing these two things almost simultaneously. Simultaneously. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so the yeah. first oh, one Roll nails the her for 11. 11 force. Her she gets back. knocked back, of course. So let's we'll move So happy here. I got here. repelling blast. I'm so happy I got that. And then yeah. roll again. 15 nails her. For seven, that not bad. Bad. And then that's another ten. Yep. And then when she go. passes through the wall, does she pass so, through twice and take wall damage? By by the you only want uh, to by the rules as written, um, she won't take any damage now. Right. The a, a creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. So like. This is totally a balance thing and not a fictional, you know, verisimilitude thing mm -hmm. because it's still the turn that it is and she has already taken damage from the wall. She doesn't take okay. damage again. But if she wants to get at Kairos, right. she's, she's going to have the wall. to go through it. Right. And actually, like, one of her squares is intersected by the wall. I think that she starts her turn in the area of the wall. So, like, you, you made the thing happen that you wanted okay. to happen. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm not gonna. Awesome. I'm not gonna punish you for pushing her too far. <laughs> well, and she doesn't have line of sight now, so she can't do yep. anything to you guys. That so. too, Kairos. You have like a turn to do something to sell to help yourself. And it's all you, Kairos. Yep. Uh, with a standard still, uh, with a banner still up, I, I wave the standard, and uh, you all are gonna get lay on hands. Sweet. And, um, Was that everyone you? Within, everyone within thirty feet of me is going to get. What do you have? Eleven. We got sound effects points. now. What the hell? Was <gasps> that? Is that Brit too? Yep. Yep. Oh, it doesn't hit. It doesn't. No, I'm I'm five feet away. It doesn't get me. You could move five feet. Back. I would move. Yeah, sorry. I, yep. I, I would move five feet to get every get all yep, of you. Yep. Totally. And that that hits Brit. That hits. Aya. I know. I know Brit's unconscious. I know Brit's not going anywhere. So I know as Ky even though I can't see her, no. I will move back and, and trust that I will get her. Oh God! We cool. trapped Ankara on the side with the bear. So Ankara, you <laughs> will gonna gain, like tear apart my dead body. <laughs> will gain eleven hit points. Okay, thank you. And that's everyone. Uh, that's yeah, including me and Aya. So I've yep. really oh, awesome. I'm maxed again. That's killer. Is that your action? That's everything for you, Kairos? Uh, that is my action and my reaction, and as my bonus action. Hmm. I don't think Sheila Faith's going to save me this time. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Then it is Ursa's turn. So first of all, she takes that 5DA damage. So let's see, a creature that enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready to get him. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Carlos isn't the wall facing the other way? I don't know what it's supposed the to wall, do. The initiative. wall is facing inside. Yeah, so, so would that even way. hit her? Uh, so I think by the rules, actually, she doesn't get hurt yeah, by the wall. I don't th yeah, she doesn't get hurt. But if she wants to get over to you, which she does, yeah, that's that's 
30 feet. So she's going to do, hmm, <laughs> I wonder if she can. She really doesn't want to like step into the wall. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is her move just 30? What an idiot. <laughs> no, it's 40 in hybrid form. Damn. 35, 40. Damn. Amazing. Okay. No! <laughs> Damn. I feel like I, I was like dead and then I woke up and was like just seeing this giant beast like running around Lumbering the corner away. of fire and I'm like, oh no. You feel the wavering heat <laughs> of this no wall I have no idea what's flames. going on over there. Yeah, I'm just like, yep, totally. what's happening? She lunges at you, Kairos, biting in your direction, oh, hitting you, dealing you a measly 25 damage. That right. also rolled ridiculously uh, high. Relentless endurance ADA. fires, so I'm still at one. And um, she fires a necrotic lance at Aya. For that 12, missing you entirely. She roars in fury at your uh, resistance of her efforts. Sorry, <laughs> your turn. Uh, okay, so using the moon shard, that's an extra action, yes? Um, let me double check. The I think moon action. shard is an action action. Moon shard of moon shard spell? Oh, As yeah, an action, cool. crush it against yourself to heal for 6d4 plus 6. Uh, yep. Can you repeat that really quick? You use an action to crush it and you, heal right. for 6d4 plus So no matter what, six. I'm using an action. Uh... Ass. All right. Well, I'm Don't gonna you have take the road myself, cunning you could dash to me. I'm gonna take yep. myself right here. I'm gonna use all of my things. I'm gonna use my uh, cunning action. Cunning action dash. Yep. Yeah, totally. Get right to what, you, and then I'm gonna. Why did you? Okay. Question. Why didn't you move like, like, here so that she? You're not in melee range of her. I moved right there. Is what happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I'm like, what? The, 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 she's gonna... I love when one of our players is like paying attention to the the tactics. It's great. I moved right there. Is what <laughs> happened. Is yeah, and then I crush a moon shard of healing on you. Kairos. Excellent. Oh my good. Six Please roll great. six d four plus six. Is that a Kairos roll or a Jesse roll? That's a Jesse roll. Yeah. Sorry, yep, you're the one doing it. That's nope. not right. Nope, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the six though, right? That's a little better. There you go. Nice. Yes, this That's moon shard shatters and like brilliant opalescent uh, vapors spread out over Kairos's wounds and they knit together these ragged claw marks in his armor sealing up. That's it for you, right? Um, yar, yes, yeah. Um, do you want to do like your insightful fighting on Ursa? Um, just yeah, to like just have in it? case, she's always in combat, but yeah, sure. I would love to do a insight roll yeah so wisdom wisdom where are you uh, you gotta click insight, insight on yep, your character sheet. Got you. yep. nailed it 15 uh she resists she deceives you uh, she's so scary and sharp <laughs> that's terrible and kara you are alive you have 11 hit points okay uh heal yourself don't worry about You have us. like all of your spells and everything too, right? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out like, I mean, Kairos needs some more health, I'm assuming, because- Don't worry, don't worry about me. You uh, can't see, you're on the other you side need of the fire. We need Heal to yourself. damage That's the That's true, I need to come around the side. The best, um, the best defense is a good offense right kill now. Kill the druid. Hmm. I could either heal myself and then try to attack it, or I could just turn into a bear. Oh my God, bear versus try bear. To attack it. Bear I feel like bear. that's- Probably bear, bear, bear. bear. Is bear the bear. right turn into bear. whatever? Bear, bear. Honestly, bear. Yeah, that's not that bad idea. Is, what? Is bear the right challenge rating for you now? I think it might not be. It might be too low. Oh wait, wait. I surpassed challenge rating. Dire bear. Dire any, bear. I think dire bear. Challenge dire. rating up, and it just increases the number. Yeah, let me see. So you are a druid of the moon. Kodiak. Kodiak. 
Combat wild shape. Um, circle forms. So that thing's not quite at half. And we you can transform into more dangerous animal forms. Starting at sixth level, you can transform into a beast with a challenge rating as high as your druid level divided by three, rounded down. So at level seven, you can you can transform into a creature of up to CR two. Right. Bear Kara, I'm pretty sure, is only CR one. Yeah. So let's see. Whoa. Like, hang on. Yeah. Uh, let me go I'm to so Kobold excited. Fight Club. I'm pulling Lol. up the list. Find all of the animals. Yep. Giant so let's see. Elk. CR two. Yep, you could be a giant elk. Absolutely. Any size, any type. And these are like beasts. Yeah. You can't turn. You could turn into an thing. Allosaurus. You could turn into a polar bear. Or a rhinoceros. Whoa. Guys. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that into... Saber toothed tiger. Yeah, let's increase this. Oh, I feel like God. a rhino. Like, we were, I feel like that's ominous because we were I, just yeah. talking about how rhinos are the bad guy. Like, be Bebop, there... Rocksteady, Babar, uh, Robin Hood. The rhinos are always the bad guy. Are there other bears that are CR2? Well, the polar, polar bear. bear. So the polar bear has forty-two hit points, armor class twelve, speed forty, swim thirty. You'll. That's nothing. You'll. You'll. Yeah, you'll die in one I'll round. I'll die real quick. No, I'm rhinoceros is forty-five you do, HP. You will do three attacks, which. Yep. Oh, two attacks. One. I'm not one saying that's... that you should do this. I know polar bears and elk and all that's fine. But just Google Allosaurus for me. I know. I'm looking. Tell me that's not the I've coolest been, effing thing. I'm not in the telling world. you I don't want to. I just like considering all my options. Looky, look how cool you'd be. You'd be like, ah, motherfucker. You'd be amazing. All right. What's. Can I turn into a dinosaur, Stephen? Is that turn into a shark? Absolutely. <gasps> yes. I haven't been a dinosaur in such a long time. Uh, Let's see. Yep. 13 AC, 51 hit points, speed 60, CR2. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Yes. It's Allosaurus time. Page 79. <laughs> All right. We're getting Alocara up on the page. Let's see. Let's get Jurassic. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, guys. I was like, I don't want to slow up the game. Nah, anyway, this is like, this is your game. thing. So I was like hesitant, but this is good. All right. So we're going to add a character. This is called. Hello, Saurus, Kara, in players journals, and Kara. And Karasaurus, obviously. Come on. And in Karasaurus. Come on. Yes. I love yeah. the idea that I am like dead and I wake up and then turn into a giant Allosaurus and come around the wall of flame. Yep, totally. <laughs> We're like, who the hell? <laughs> so let's see. Can you Close only speak in dinosaur from now on? <laughs> <laughs> your armor class is 13. Your hit points is 51. Your speed is 60, not yeah. 30. You are fast as fuck. Yes, uh, this is it. Strength is 19. Dex is 13. Con is 17. I'm so scared. I'm Intelligence roll, like, is the 2. Shittiest. Okay, yeah. Well, Wisdom's you know. 12. Charisma is 5. Um, yep, you have awesome. five charisma as a giant flesh eating. I love it. <laughs> You're like, hey, how's it going? It's oh, a giant right, flesh eating dinosaur, but then she has like eyelashes. Question You've seven. Got... Yeah, does my intelligence blusha, blusha. and wisdom and stuff mm. change? Level change oh. when I turn no, I think Jesus. I think your um like mental stats change. stay the same, okay, that's but what I your thought. physical stats change. Cool. So if you pounce, you can move move thirty feet and thirty feet and hit with a straw a claw attack. Feet hit with claw attack. Um, oh, yeah. And when you do that, target makes a DC 13 strength save or be knocked prone. Okay. DC 13 is to oh. save or knocked prone. And then, like, if the target is prone, you can make a one bite attack on it as a bonus action. I'm so excited for this. I am. This I'm is, so this worried that I'm going to roll prone. so poorly and it's prone. just going to not do anything. Prone. Prone. And then you've got two prone. bite. Prone. You've got a bite attack, which gives you, it's an attack. Melee. It's five feet reach. I mean, knocking it prone is a pretty damn good idea. Yeah. That takes a half a movement to stand up. 
So if there was a way you could like- 2d10 plus four. And we say, then we sit back 30 feet away from it. Yeah, so what I'll have to do is go kind of out at an angle and then come towards it so I don't have to go through the fire. And then claw. Clown, which is an attack. That, so. And that's plus six, five foot reach. Prone. And I would normally just drag this over, but the uh, roll 20 doesn't have the allosaurus. 1d8 plus four. Okay, cool. I'm ready for this. There you go. Uh, I've got your Encarasaurus all set up. Okay. I'm going to drag it down into the yes. characters section so that it's right next to you. Uh, it's up. It's under Bearcara. There's Encarasaurus. Uh, and I'm going to try to find a good token to represent Encarasaurus. Let's see if I can Just find a dinosaur, something. but then, like, you know, give it eyelashes and some blush. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Roar! I'm a dinosaur. That's not how I sound. I sound Roar. terrifying. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Roar! Like a I'm a dinosaur, guys. That's your idea of terrifying. Yeah, it's a deeper voice, so it's scarier. I'm gonna pounce go away, Sarek later. <laughs> there we go. Knock your ass prone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Prone. Prone. Okay. Prone. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna be any mankind, maybe ancient evils. Do you think we should represent you with Cthulhu? Uh, <laughs> Cthulhu? You don't have one dinosaur? Not even a stegosaurus in there? It's pretty strange, right? Like, come on, Ark Knight. I mean, you gotta give I don't some think, dinosaurs. like, as far as I know, I've only been allowed to, like, be a dinosaur in, like, one other game I've played. So I don't think it's that right. common. Here we go. This one's in Carosaurus. I, mean, I can specific. give you a, I can give you an Ankylosaurus token, no problem. You want Ankylosaurus tokens? I can get you an Ankylosaurus token by lunch. <laughs> I got, I got an Ankylosaurus guy. <laughs> I got a guy for that. AC, that's AC not even the right type of dinosaur. Show that's a show herbivore. Name for we can show. and allosaurus the right one? are carnivores. You want, oh, is it allosaurus? <laughs> not ankylosaurus. Uh, it's it's allosaurus, not ankylosaurus. Oh. But I, I've got I've got ankylosaurus okay. over here, so I'm going to okay. And we're going to make sure that ankylosaurus is using that token. Edit. And they were more scavengers token. than they were hunters. <laughs> Everyone knows. Okay. Amazing. We're gonna pull Ankara off to the side, putting Karasaurus in your place. We're all set up, Ankara. Yes. Here you are. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go. And of course, if you open the Ankarasaurus character yep. sheet, you've got all your uh, attacks and everything. I've got right that. Here. Thank you for creating that for me. So I'll go. It's like 20 feet this way, and then I have yep. plenty of space, and I'm gonna. Pounce. It's so stupid. I don't know why I think it's so. It's funny. really good. Oh, no. And then you're pouncing. Okay, awesome. Go ahead and roll your claw attack. Okay. And if you hit, then your pounce was successful. Damn it! Oh, guys, no! Did. You were too Do I get off. any advantage for coming up from behind? No, no you don't. <laughs> So that's it. You turn into a you turn into an Incarasaurus. Oh, hey, by the way, Incara, um, because you have the torques of the shifter, right? If you want, you can cast a spell as a bonus action while you're tra transforming, or not not as a bonus action, like as a free action. You're telling me with during your, your tiny, transformation, your little tiny hands, and you're like, oh, la go, la go. yeah, like that. So if amazing. you wanted to, you could like heal yourself. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh... But you Let's are healed, no? My well, crazy? I'm healed, like my, I have full Ankarasaurus HP. Sure. But once I turn back, I go straight back to what I currently have, which is 10. So you'd be healing yep. your inner self. Yes. My human form. Interesting. I do that too. With these yeah. crystals I got from Goop. <laughs> Gotta heal the inside. Oh my God. That's why my complexion looks so good. Amazing. Um, I don't, I feel like that's too literal. I'm gonna let you know. We were saying, uh, like, we were talking like metaphysically inside. That's what the crystals do. I don't actually insert them in my body, Jesse. It's the vibration. metaphysical you're you're energy. You're, then you're doing it wrong. That emanate. Yeah. As Gwyneth they would emanate. tell you, incorrect usage. No, it's the vibration. The vibrational energy vibrates into my metaphysical so you're being. You're telling me I'm repairs. sticking all these crystals inside of me for nothing? <laughs> all right. I got a whole pot of crystals back here. <laughs> Thank you, Ankara, for taking your turn <laughs> and not being any of the other people on this show. 
<laughs> I love how low this bar is right now. I like rolled to give myself HP and I'm getting thanked by the DM. That's it. That's Guys. that's all you got to do. All you have to do is roll the dice. <laughs> All right, awesome. So um, Ursa lunges at Kairos, biting and snapping with her jaw. Let's see. I should not grab Kairos's character sheet. I should grab Ursa's character sheet. Lunges, snap. Jesus, got it. She. I am rolling so well with her attacks, dealing you twenty-three piercing damage, Jesus. and then she turns I have around. Twenty-four hit points. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and then she turns around and slashes at this uh, Allosaurus, which is the same size as her, striking at it with a claw, hitting and dealing 28 slashing oh damage. Oh my god! Okay, you do you roll d10s and you have never rolled fewer than a five on any yep, of yep. this entire fight. I have Three rolled you've ridiculously rolled 15, well. You've rolled at least 15 d10s and have yet this to roll below a five. Horrible for me, personally. Seek help. <laughs> <laughs> Brit. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Um All right, it's Aya's turn. Oh god. I'm going to move up here. And yes. I'm going to burn my inspiration cuz I really need to hit her and I'm going to I'm going to nail her with a attempt to nail her with an eldritch blast. Cool. Nailed her. For 12 force damage. She moves 10 feet towards yep. the flame wall. Yo, uh, yo, she in there. 510. Nice. And then... Uh, you miss with your second one. Or wait. But you so... ruled it, it, it accounts yeah, 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 for yeah, both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and I'm I'm comfortable sticking with that ruling. So does that yep. mean I crit? Uh, yes. Yay! <laughs> yep, roll it. I, I did. It didn't roll that well, but... It's okay. I don't see it. Didn't roll at all on my yeah. computer. Mm -hmm. how, much, how much damage did you deal? Twelve. Make up, a, make up a number. Hey, twelve is you know that's 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 okay. So I did twelve and twelve. Yep, twenty-four I don't know damage. How we rolled twelve on a crit. I rolled two on my d10. I don't have my d10s the way Steven does. Do I get to uh, roll fire damage? Not yet. Uh, actually, no, yes, this is the first time this turn that she has moved through the, the, the fire. So, yes, please roll 5d8. Get her. 5d8. Badoosh. 27. Yay! Killer. Kairos, your turn. Um, so it's moved 10 feet again, right? Yeah. Oh, it would yes. have moved it yep, twice. Yep, yep. 5, would Ankara have gotten a okay. op attack? Yeah, actually, yes, and Kara, if you want to roll an opportunity attack. I oh, those rules, cool. though. I absolutely do. Let me pull up my other one. I had, I got, I had some good rolls today. Um, let's see. Bite? Can I bite? Reach to bite? Attack? Yes. No matter which one. Fifteen hits. Oh, thank God! Finally, I did something. Roll your day. Fifteen piercing damage. That was a good round. That was a good Ooh. round. Like Not we're all probably shabby. still gonna die, but that was a good round. But yeah. I successfully contributed at least one useful thing to this fight. Um, <laughs> you got rocked really early. Well, Go yeah, ahead, this Kairos. is not been a great fight for me. Okay. Um. Well, I was gonna cast bless, but I'm just gonna die in a round, so I'm not sure that's gonna be very useful. Uh, because the druids is gonna go after me. So instead, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, maybe get away. Just get and, away and eat. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat chunk uh down on my own moon shard of healing. Cool. Thank you for your previous moon shard, Jesse. That's the only reason why I'm alive right now. Do I have another really, moon shard. I got really, another one for you, baby. Okay, I did not roll nearly as good as I was going to say, you do you really oh, want wow. Knowing that where he stores them, you still want that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just saying, right. I'm just saying. We just heard. We just heard. He just said well, where well, you put them. Well, apparently those ones, those are more effective moon There's shards. There's no than pockets in all these robes. <laughs> I rolled six <laughs> dice and got four uh, ones. And four ones on that, so that's great. Cool, cool, Damn. Cool. All, All right, right. Uh, is that it for you? Uh, that's it for me. It is Ursa's turn. Oof. I think regardless of what happens here, she's inside the firewall, so she takes 5d8 damage. So Jesse, roll 5d8. This firewall is doing work. 
Yeah. Twenty damage. Uh, correction. I am also doing work in keeping her <laughs> in the firewall. I would. Absolutely, your tactics are second to none. So, okay, she five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Well, run, dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this uh, is, like, twenty-five. It is what it is. <laughs> First, she bites at you, dinosaur. Oh, She's gonna necrotic beam us. She's she hits you, me. dealing you twenty-four piercing damage. Ah, shit! I'm back to myself. Oh no, I'm gonna die again, guys. <laughs> no. There you are. So uh, actually, this is important. Let's let's um, let's see. Inkara, make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Okay. Because I know where you do not want to be. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a one d four roll. One is the square you are in right now, and then proceeding clockwise, two is here, three is here, and four is immediately to your right. Okay. You end up, after transitioning out of uh, Allosaurus form, in the square you currently stand, and then Ursa <laughs> fires a necrotic blast <laughs> in Kairos's direction. Okay, so then that's just me. Oh, okay. Kairos. She misses you. Ooh. Ooh. My God. All right, Sarek, it's your turn. Don't worry. You can't see <laughs> Ursa from where you are right now. She's got half cover, I think. Maybe even three quarters. Sure. Okay. Um, question. I want to Scooby Dooby Doop Doop Dooby. I want to go here. Behind still in cover. Behind mm -hmm. Ankara. And yes. I want to use my last moon shard. Amazing. To heal you. What is this? Six D four plus six. Thank douche. you. Yeah, I come up behind and I just smash it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Salt bay. <laughs> yeah. I love like, that we've got sprinkle. Healing. Like, don't worry, I'm here. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Healer rogue, just running around, keeping oh everybody God. topped up. I'm not anymore. That's great. I'm, I got right. nothing yeah. left. I have two of them, so as long as I can stay alive, I can try Well, Ankara, it's your turn. Oh, you turn back into Ankarasaurus if you want. Uh, hmm. With full HP? Yeah. Can, and That's you're, the... you're stuck doing that right now? You can only be the Allosaurus? No, no, no. She could turn into whatever form. No, she I can wants. do whatever I want. I'm just yeah. Try you. something new. It's fun. No, well, it's not fun. <laughs> the deal no, has no, to no, 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 no. We pick like four <laughs> that we like, and that's what we do, and that's it. Um, polar bear from Lost. Uh, <laughs> With the Dharma Initiative tattoo, sure. We determined that because I'm Circle of the Moon, I can you turn wild shape as a bonus action, correct? Yes, as a bonus and action, and moon... you recover your wild shapes on a short rest. Move. Okay. Hmm. Kairos, do you need to keep, do you want a moon shard? I'm just trying to think of what the best, or am I in range for an attack of opportunity? I would rather, I would rather just, instead of okay. healing, we need to do damage on our Yeah, I'll just turn back, I'll just turn back and do a dinosaur again. Cool. And Karasaurus comes back out, and Kara um, goes away. Wow. Do you want to cast a spell while you're doing that? Yes. Which one makes the most sense is the question. What can I use that's damaging? Because I can't keep those spells can you, going. Can you cast anything that gives us advantage? Um, I fairy don't... fire. Yeah, I have fairy fire. What spells do you have? You've got fairy fire. I don't have them all in there, but I have them because I I need to update these. I keep a notebook. Um, yeah. Uh, fairy uh, fire would be great. Okay, so I'll use one of my slots to cast that. And that one is fairy fire. So this is a level one spell. Mm -hmm. it's Each object in a twenty foot cube is outlined. Any creature in the in the area when the spell is cast is. So, also outlined if it fails a dexterity saving throw for the duration creatures shed light any attacks have d advantage if the attacker can see it um right. awesome so okay. despite how good steven rolls 
healing is like does this mean i survive an additional turn of combat like that's the question it's like does you so do you heal like 24 points of damage if you can't and do damage is like if if we can't if we can't get another round of staying up then then just do damage and, and or like or the other way around i guess just so always do damage you did cast fairy fire right Britt? well i'm looking at it now and it and... requires concentration but that's okay. You can that's maintain fine. concentration as a oh, dinosaur. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's no problem. Um, yeah, if that's helpful to everyone through the firewall, then yeah, I can um, ask that. Any creature in the area, if it fails a dex saving throw. Yeah. What's yeah. your spell save okay. DC, Ankara? It is... It's probably like 15. It's, yeah, I think it's 14. It's 14. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Let's okay. cast that as I turn into an Allosaurus again. Killer. Yeah, so these these torques of the bear around your arm like glow with an inner fury as they invest in you the power necessary to cast a spell as you are transforming. This sparkle of dust flurries over towards Ursa. And she fails her saving throw. So now for the next one minute, so you've got concentration, so I'm going to put mm -hmm. that on you. And she has fairy fire, so let's see. Um, I'm going to like... Uh, I can't add the token, uh, Steven, to this game because I'm not the Really? I'm not Maybe the it's something I need to do as the GM. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll work on that next time. All right. Cool. And Kara, you can still attack. Yeah. I'm going to definitely do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. You nailed him. 26, 15 plus four is 19. Very nice. Okay. Do you, do you multi? Yeah. She roars in fury, like her mouth, like it's all like decaying and rotten and her breath smells atrocious. Oh, she no. roars in your face as you stand there in your dinosaur form and she lunges at you, biting and snapping in your direction while raking her claws down no. your side. Go she away. misses with her bite, <gasps> careening off of your scales and then her oh. claw tries to swipe down your side Finally. but skitters off of your armor. Ugh. You've turned There's... the tide. Aya, what do you do? Take her out. Okay. Um. I I don't have... Oh, Kitty. Sorry. I don't have <laughs> line of sight on her, right? Well, you can um, see her now because yeah, she has fairy fire. Okay, okay. You have line of sight. Um, I don't want to... Well, let me see. Oh, gosh. I don't want to hit her further away. So... I don't think that would be beneficial to the party. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Avard's Black Tentacles. Oh, yeah. And uh, because it's 90 feet, I'm going to probably cast it. Oh, God, that's... Is it really 90? Oh, no, the range is 90 feet. Thank God. It's a 20-foot square. Okay. Yep. So I'm probably going to cast it here. And I think it's like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And just totally. it, it have it in, like, sort of cloak her. Yep. So let's see. When a creature enters the affected area for the first time or starts its turn there, it must take a dexterity saving throw or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage. Um, and this again is like, right, no, okay, yes, excellent. Yeah, okay, and that's cool. also difficult terrain, I think, or something like yep, that? Or that the it other is. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. Ooh, <laughs> I love it. Nice. <gasps> let's oh layer God. map layer that. Amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Love it. Thank you. Is that it for you, Aya? Yes. Okay, Kairos, your turn. Okay, I don't think I can get in range of it. Um, unfortunately. I mean, you can always throw a javelin. But yeah, I think you're right. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna have to move a little bit. I'm not making an easy line. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna chuck a regular old javelin at it. I think you're at disadvantage right now because the javelins are 20. Uh, yeah, that means I'm at regular advantage, though. Uh, because it has, it would give me advantage anyways. Oh, yes, of course, because fairy she's fire. got a uh, fairy fire. Yep, absolutely. So, first attack. 20. Nailed her. Second attack. Yes. Miss. For six. Uh, that's six piercing damage. Better than none, for sure. All right, Ursa makes a dexterity saving throw. What's your say, uh, spell save DC, Aya? 14. 14. Yo! Failing, taking 3d6. So go ahead and roll that 3d6, Aya. Okay. Uh, 
And then so, she's also restrained, I believe. She's restrained, absolutely. Yeah. So she roars and uh, and bellows in fury. Um, the first thing that she does is like she stops and she locks eyes with you and Kara. And her her bare mouth utters a word that you have heard before because it's a word you yourself have uttered. Let's see here. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Martha, right? That's how you know that you're both. <sighs> Why did you say that? <laughs> what is your name? She casts healing that? word on herself and recovers uh, 15 no! points of damage. God damn it. Boo, that's boo. not that's wrong. And then is the healing she, word Martha? <laughs> she attacks you twice, Ankara. Uh, Martha is the healing word. Go away, Ursa. Biting at you and missing terribly <laughs> and then clawing at you and oh, missing. Okay. Wow, the tide okay. has truly turned for my chance, rolls. This you used up all your rolls. Steven. Yep, I spent them all early on. All right, you sorry. Have you, forget, you have advantage on this. You have advantage on these attacks. Yep. All right. So, to the left, Image. a wall of fire. Yes. To the right, tentacles swirling, grasping. Yes. yes. It, it, and, and then two beasts talking to each other, like the end of Jurassic World when the T Rex talks to the raptor and it makes no effing sense. Yep. That shit That's is exactly happening it. right now. And Sark is like, there's only one thing I can do. I have to get advantage, height advantage. I climb the back of Ankarasaurus. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Work in Amazing. the past, man. Give me a climb check with advantage. <laughs> I climb her I'll back. Help him up. Is this athletics? Yes. That twenty happens, and I you, just you like... run straight up her tail onto her shoulders. Oh my god! Yes, just like every elf ever, I run up the tail, and then I want to do a cool pose slash fire, like and then right at that stupid bear's face. Yeah, and Amazing. right when, when you get to the top, right before you fire, I go. Arr! Oh yeah, and then like uh, even though we're in a cave, and a banner like, falls, flames, yeah, yeah, yes. and it says do wow. do 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 right. do do. A banner, do. a banner falls. Yeah. It says when dinosaurs no. ruled the earth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah, yes. a banner comes walking. Yes. All right, here we go. Longbow. Twenty five. Twenty five okay. nails her. And be and I get that extra. Yeah. Yep, you got that sneak attack damage. But goosh. Look at that. What is that? Twenty three. Yeah. Damn. And I, nicely and done. And then we pose afterwards, and it looks dope. And someone's like, dope "That should be well. on a T-shirt." Is what it should be. Like, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick you or the side like, of a van. Right here. <laughs> and and Kara, it's your turn. Can you okay. finish off? I'm Ursa? gonna try. I hope so. Uh, you have advantage. You crit. Okay. Twenty six piercing damage. Wow, she's really hanging in. Okay, there. and I can claw. Uh, I don't oh, think you oh, can no. do both. I can't do no. multi attack. Oh, right, that's nope. just the bear. One. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, okay. that's your pass so, thing. So you just, okay. turn. so you just do a casual crit. Okay. Yeah, casually. Yep, Very just casually crit. Casually crit. That's my whole thing. Woo! Okay, Ursa is still again? restrained. Oh yeah. <laughs> we just did, you just did another twenty-six <laughs> points of damage to it. Like that's yeah, that's pretty dang good. Yeah. Ursa is restrained, so Aya, please mm -hmm. roll. 3d6. For the and record, your lady. crits are this thing's regular attacks. I know. It's insane. <laughs> and this lady. 13 damage. She strikes at you twice, <gasps> Ankara. But, First, but she remains restrained, right? She is still restrained. So she, she would have disadvantage on those. She has an O. Does restrained cause disadvantage? Yeah, I believe so. Well, Let's double check. It's not grappled. Well, I, I will restrained roll. Is, restrained is the bad one. You don't want to be restrained. Lunging and claw. Let's let's take a look at restrained sure. to, dumb, to double check. A restrained creature speed becomes zero. Attack rolls yep. against the creature have advantage, and attack and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. There you go. Second bulleted point. So uh, I think that second one, that claw yeah. hits, but yeah, the it's bite an does AC not. Thirteen. So. Okay. So you take twenty slashing damage from this claw. That's fine. But that's all. That's fine. Uh, yeah. It's better than will... two attacks. Yeah. The fairy fire might go out though. 
Yeah, you need to make but a that's um, okay, constitution save. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, it's a DC it's, 10 constitution it's, save. Yo! Uh, it doesn't even matter. What? Okay. Yep. All right, Aya. Okay. She is severely wounded. These two mm-hmm. green orbs burning at the hollow of her throat as she's like grasped by, by these tentacles and held mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just going to launch another Eldritch Blast at her. Awesome. Uh, the first one misses. Well, I have advantage. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah. You nail her. Roll damage. Cool. Okay. I'm going to set Max this scene for you because this is important. You point your finger and what? It's like a tentacly blast of like purple energy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it goes searing through the air, strikes her in the chest. She gets like knocked back. The tentacles that are holding to the ground grasp her and like pull her to the earth as the life fades from her and she collapses in death. Third victory pose! We did and it. then, oh no, oh no, no. slide down your tail because everything. Oh, never mind. She has these two green orbs that are burning at her neck. They're clearly made of some sort of magical energy. One of them detaches, floats forwards, and then bursts, sparkling, glowing oh, green spaced. waves of Lost energy bite. outwards in your directions. Immediately, all four of you. Uh, gain all of the benefits of a short rest. However, in Kara, your uh, form reverts. You revert okay. to human form. I just fall on Ankara. <laughs> Boom, yes. I'm face yeah, down, you're just sitting on top of me, still doing a pose. <laughs> all currently active spell effects end. Okay, so the tentacles disappear. Everything. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. 14, what is all these numbers? 30. I'm this is I'm, this is Kairos hit rolling dicing. hit dice to recover oh, his hit oh, points. Jesus, it's a short because okay. it's a short rest. Yep, mm-hmm. this is a short rest. You can spend hit dice to recover. Uh in Kara, you regain your wild shape forms. Um Aya, you regain your spell, spell slots. slots. Yep, absolutely. You feel this invigorating energy of these waves of energy washing across you. And Kara, did you want to spend any hit dice? Uh yeah, I'm doing that right now. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Nailing it. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And then, <laughs> with like a wrenching lurch, she draws herself to her feet. <sighs> She roars, and with that roar, two huge skeletons stand from the earth. No! Wait, what? (laughs) Did I not set that up so that it's actually a cool looking thing? No, I did not. Two cool looking meeples stand up from the earth. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they so water over. Bum, bum, here's one. <laughs> so let's see. This is going to be Ogre Zombie. Yup. Ogre Zombie. HP and AC. Oh, no. Yup. And then not going to actually represent that token. Just going to be that amount of hit points. Yep. This save is, changes. It's just like one of those terrible games where I wasted all my <laughs> heals and everything in the first now they round. Ate, they- the HB bar got even bigger. <laughs> Don't now say that. It's the whole screen. <laughs> okay, good. So that's you know, number one. You know when you see something with a yellow HP bar, you know you're in for a long yeah, That's time. number two. If it ain't green. <laughs> yep. Damn. All right, folks. It is Kairos's turn. Oh, I thought you were going to say till we meet again. Oh. Nope. No, nope, no, nope. we I figure well like assuming y'all are still good, we can run until like eight forty five or whatever. Yeah, I can yeah. There, rock and roll. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm gonna Let's... run a straight diag. All right, here's the problem. This thing's gonna go after me. I wanna charge in there and start striking this thing because I'm at full health. The problem is as soon as I do it, it's gonna move down and shoot a giant line at us. Is that okay? Hmm. Or All can right. I go oh, that's the only way I can... it's the only way I can get into range. Yeah, I mean whatever you need to do. We'll figure it out. 
I'm tired of chucking my little javelins. I want to I want to actually do damage. Get him. All right. Uh, so I'm going to charge down on it. Oh, right. Oh, the other thing that happens. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, when when she recovers, uh, she stands up and like roars and raises her arms and these ogre zombies raise from these piles of bones and then bones from the ground rise up and whirl around her, um, increasing her armor class. So now she's got an AC of 13 instead of 11. Whatever. Die. Okay. Your turn, Kairos. Frozen Spear of Flame. Strike one. Nailed her. And strike two. Uh, these are not at advantage, right? No. Her, the fairy fire has ended. This wave of energy that burst from this orb at her throat uh, eliminated the, uh, the uh, spell effect. 25. So 12 plus, yeah, 25. Um, you know what? No, it's going to be a little bit more than that. First oh man, I'm, I'm spending I'm spending one on a a smite here. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing three. It's undead, right? Yes. Or fiend. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing three d eight radiant damage. Cool. Roll it. Uh, so here's two d eight, and then so That's nine radiant damage. damage. Jesus, nine. Well, so um, we. Not everyone can roll like you, Steven. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, uh, you think that you're going to do nine radiant damage, oh, God. but as you speak the word of power and imbue your frozen spear with radiant energy, it burns through her flesh and erupts out of her eyes, ears, and mouth. It's clear she has taken far more. Okay. Interesting. So it's her turn. She bites in Kairos's direction, lunging in your direction, missing entirely. Oh shit, she's got bad rolls now. And then she claws at um, Ankara for 16, which yeah. I think hits, right? Yeah. Yep. Dealing you 18 <laughs> oh splashing God. damage. I'm going to try to re-grapple her. I think we need her grappled. Oh, we need her to have that disadvantage. And then yep. it's Sarek's turn, and I'll roll for the ogre zombies at the top of the turn. We'll see what they're what they're. Um... They're having tea. They are having tea. Um, they would sure. fit right in with Melissa. Yeah. Are you short sword mm -hmm. or. I want to cunning action. Myself. Uh. How does this? What they're call? calling Just it these me. days. <laughs> <laughs> so you're disengaging to run away. Yes. Cool. Bonus action, yeah. And then I want to take a shot uh, at her until we figure out what these ogres are going to do. Cool. So, yeah. Let's do they actually Combos just want to slow. sell you insurance. <laughs> That's... Excuse me if you I'm considered sorry. saving 15% by switching <laughs> Jesse Jesse said, uh, I'm going to wait and see what these ogres do. Like, they're going to, they, they're not going to attack us. They're going to be like, actually, sir, I don't know if you know this. Um, I'm registering people to vote today. Um, <laughs> Have you heard of Mike Bloomberg? <laughs> Have you considered Bernie Sanders? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'd be able to kill them if they did that. They're such oh, they're so politically God. active, and that's beautiful to see in old bone men. <laughs> old bone men. <laughs> they're the first one. Okay, sorry, place, roll your so shot. Last one to leave. Shoot your shot. You already cunning actioned yourself. Damn. <laughs> Unless when I when I yeah. talk about national health care, I mean necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> that hits, Sarek. You got we it. We are raising the dead. <laughs> are, are we okay? We are no, nobody death. is okay right now. Canceling death. <laughs> Bony Sanders, hairless no. Whisker one in chat. No. Oh, Whisker's also the oh my God, Whisker's the, Whisker has the wit for oh so sharp. It's so good. Whisker Bony was the one Sanders. about uh, how how is the Japanese birth rates going down to? Yes, <laughs> Sorry. I love you. Holy You're shit, so Bony Sanders. <sighs> Bony Sanders. All right, and Kara, your turn. Yeah, He's I mean, got let's cloud. Turn him back into a dinosaur and bite him again. All right. Why you do you think that sound like the most mundane? 
Guess I'll just become a dinosaur. I get really petulant when my rolls don't go as well. So my flesh just rips <laughs> apart, revealing scales underneath, and my mouth yeah. jaw, my lower jaw breaks apart and elongates. It's really boring into like this maw. <laughs> And you see my teeth become impossibly huge and my eyes turn large. Sorry. <laughs> my eyes just get huge as they're rolling around in my head. You have beautiful eyes. It's really go, very just her. like too much as the kids say, you know, it's a bit much. That's a lot, are. but why are you making me turn into a dinosaur So again? You, you would normally have hit, except that you got a mouthful of bone dust in Kara. Yeah. Oh God. All right. Well, I'm an Allosaurus now. Here I am. <laughs> Oh, and we've got a roll uh, for Ogre Zombies. So let's see, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add some turns. Uh, I'm gonna name this one Ogre Zombie 1. I'm gonna Boy, name the other one Sanders Ogre Zombie A. I thought so you were gonna no... name them. Oh, let me recast Fairy Fire too. Yes, I will. Ursa does a dexterity saving throw, fails entirely, and now everybody has advantage. You have oh. concentration okay. running on you, um. and Ursa has uh, advantage from fairy oh. fire. Cool. So, uh, Ogre no Zombie. Ogre Zombie is number fairy one. Fire 20 20 feet? Is, it tw is it a 20 foot square or is it? Uh, 20 foot cube. A each object in a 20 foot cube. Shit. Range okay, is yeah. 60 feet. So, we have yeah. to draw the 20 foot cube. There's, there's no 20 foot cube that could hit the Ogre Zombie and the right. Death right. Fairy Fire. Yeah. Yep. That's all I was wondering. Zombie number two, number A, I mean. Okay, cool. So, let's see. We've got. 12 here and then five Such a consistent here. naming cool. pattern all right the death druid bites at kairos actually no the death druid's gonna five foot step here then put a little heat on someone who hasn't felt any yet this game sorry oh <clears throat> she bites in your direction lunging at you holy shit i got them fast feet holy shit <laughs> and then she claws it in Kara. Strikes, critting. Oh, crit, crit. Okay. Great, fantastic. Dealing you, oh my um, god! 48 <laughs> slashing damage. <laughs> Why is that funny, Jesse? <laughs> during <laughs> women's <laughs> month, <laughs> <not die. laughs> during, during women's month, <laughs> I'm still just, a dinosaur. It's consistently uh, comical. Very you fire just like, like roar, slap. Yeah, oh. you're gonna have to make a 48. So you you need to make a tw DC 24 concentration check. Oh my god. Swear to God. No problem. <laughs> Hold on. It's just. Uh, there's no attack of opportunity on Ursa because Ursa did not leave anybody's threat range. So there's no. You said Constitution, no... right, Stephen? Yes, Constitution. Okay. You you okay. fail uh, and you lose your saving throw. Yep. You see, you guys were like, "Oh, why are you rolling your eyes? Not excited to be a dinosaur." It's because I knew, I knew this shit was coming. Yep, totally. But hey, that's forty-eight hit points that don't come from your that's person. That's true. Yeah. true. All right, ogre All zombie A. The bride. How much does the ogre zombie move? Thirty feet. So let's see. That's going to be five, ten, fifteen, nah. twenty, mm -hmm. twenty-five. Mm -mm. 30, mm -mm. Yeah. 35. No, no, get <laughs> back. I, I, listen, I'm a Warren the supporter, Bony there. You better move it back. Bony bear. <laughs> Bony bear. <laughs> Bony bro. <laughs> These Bony bros are out of control. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, it's just wearing like a beanie and has like a Wisconsin flannel thing on. Yeah, totally. I hate it. Okay, so I know that it's going to get an attack of opportunity on me, but I'm probably going to entropic ward it and I'm going to move oh. away from it because I just, I don't have time for this. Um, yep. So I'm going to move. Bony bear. <laughs> I'm going to move over towards Kairos. And cool. It takes an attack of opportunity. Save me. And I am in tropic warning. It misses. It. Yep. So I get cool. advantage on my next attack against it. So oh, gonna... come here, skinny love. <laughs> <laughs> that yes, that is definitely what it says. <laughs> so I hate what? that. What? I really hate that. For the record, 
No. Just, just so that we're clear here, someone in chat pointed out in Kara, your mm -hmm. bite attack was after you cast Fairy Fire. So your bite attack had advantage. You got the 23. So I rolled <gasps> damage for you. You did 17 piercing damage oh, cool. with your successful bite to Ursa. Oh, oh nice. Yep. Catch. Uh, Thanks, chat. That was sorry, chat. Yeah, gaming of relativity nailed that. It. Yeah, sorry, I missed that. Oh, thank you. Thanks, chat. I missed. Yeah, we thank all you. missed it. Thanks, chat. So now that I'm out of the range of that idiot who's going to be in my range, I'm just going to put my faith in Kairos's hands, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do Evard's Black Tentacles a second time because okay. I, I want to. I want a disadvantage. Her. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to position it where she's in it, but yep. maybe it would also form a barrier to, uh, you know, boned in over there. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what these dudes' names are. Ogre zombie. Yeah, I feel like this is a good positioning. Were you going for a Joseph Bonden joke? <laughs> is that what you were going for? Because I heard mm -hmm. it, and I'm like, all right. There you go. Oh, Joe Bonden. Oh, Joe. I got, yeah. I got the wiggle. I got the wiggly Look tentacles too. Look at the wiggles. Too. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, that is. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't yeah. Like okay. That so uh, the creature must succeed on a dexterity saving throw when so it enters its turn. or starts its turn there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then we will see that at the start of its turn. Kairos, your turn. Uh, we don't know if it's restrained yet, right? No. Not yet. Not. It is not currently restrained. Part of me thinks that. So, but it. So basically, at the end of my turn, it would. I would know if it's restrained or not. Yes. So then no. I should use my reaction to hold my action to attack and just not do anything and then attack twice totally. like I would normally to see if I have advantage. That makes sense, but you're going to act yeah. after it. Um, no, I'm going to use my reaction. What's the trigger? When, when, when it attacks me, I will okay. attack before. Sure. Um, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so it is the Death Druid's turn. It's going to make a dexterity saving throw. Let's roll that. It succeeds. Wow. It is not snared. Okay. And it's going to move. It's going to move 5, 10, 15. And now it has moved out of the threat range of Incarasaurus. 20. Do I get to attack it, it since it ran away? If you would like to. You certainly uh, can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stephen. I would like to attack it. Excellent. Uh, you have advantage on this, and they're 14 oh, hits. So go ahead nice. and roll your damage. Okay. Minus 19, solid bite. Okay, and then uh, it first attacks Aya. Not so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I, my trigger was when it attacks. Ah, uh, okay. Did I, I thought say, it was when it attacks. Did I ever say me? Yes, I thought you said you, but I'll give I it never, to you. I never specified a direct <laughs> object, Steven. <laughs> All right, Cairo. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Roll your player. <laughs> you lose, DM. My attack action means I attack twice. So first attack. Uh, you I'm nail him. Hit. Second attack. You also just, hit. Just enough. Seven, and then fourteen, twenty-one. No, nineteen. Nineteen. Um, I mean, I'm also gonna drop another little, little Drop another here. smite, a smitely do. Yeah, toss a smite my witcher. Okay. And uh gonna do 3d8 to it. You're gonna cool. it. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nice job, Eric. Damn. 30 damage from the smite. Incredible. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh Ursa gets nailed, and I think she reconsiders what she was gonna do. That's fair. I do still have my feather cloak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she moves away. So that was uh, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So Aya and Kairos, both of you can make an attack of opportunity. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Steven, that's not fair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. And this is why. Oh, you just because said you're attacking you had, and yep, I had yeah, a trigger yeah, yep. and that invalidates my trigger. Yep. Um, you can change who you're targeting. That's fair, but you are committed. Rules to the lawyer again. <laughs> Honestly, I just like whacking it. It's really fun. Everybody should own a gavel. Yeah. 
a okay. lot of fun. Um, that's fair. Let's see. It can um, attack and then finish, then keep moving. Yeah, totally. Right. But it has to do an attack. But it, it's committed that's to an fair. attack at that point. Yep. Um. Mm -mm -mm. You can't hit nobody, mm -mm. you big dumb bear. And I can't opportunity attack it because my reaction was to attack. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, so yeah, so it's right here. Um, yes, I'm going to cast a Hellish Rebuke, level four. So you need to make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw Kairos or take 14 fire damage. Pleasure. Fine. Uh, and it loses a level four spell slot, of course. Cool, and then, uh, yes, uh, it follows through on its attack. It attacks Aya uh, with a claw. Okay, Ow. that hit. Dealing you 18 damage, or sorry, not 18 damage. Dealing you 26 damage. That's fine, that's Much cool. better. I'm happy with that. Um, yes, and then I think it's going to bite Aya as well. So much for protecting you, sorry. Schnarf. <laughs> Oh, Deals boy. you 15 damage with a bite. Okay, that's what, 41? 41. Yeah, it's 41. Yeah, yep. I have four hit points. Um, I'm going to Hellish Rebuke her back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm also going to cast it at level four. Okay. Honestly, because that is a reaction. I can do that though, too. Right? Yeah. Yo, damn. Okay. You're so then level you can't use cap? your reaction to like get out of there either. I can do it too. No. Way I'm gonna better burn than her mine. back. Because I wisdom is a dump stat. Dex saving throw. Oh shit! What? Wow! Oh wow. my god! Oh boy! That's bull honkies. So it takes half damage, which is sixteen. Still but pretty dang. Thirty-two good. is way dang cooler. Good. Pretty dang. It is. It's true. Um, All right, that's it for her turn. Does does the void go away? Let's, no. The, the oh, I have to make a save for it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I, took, you have to make two saves. You have to make a DC ones. 13 constitution saving throw and then a DC 10 constitution saving throw. Oh. Yeah, no, it's gone. So you fail. Yep, totally. Oh, boy. Outbound background. Yep. Objects and tokens. Cool. Okay. So let's finish out this round and then we'll say our goodbyes because we've reached the end of our time. I don't have any so, spells left. First of all, this ogre zombie runs in the direction of Sarek, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then it attacks you with its morning star. Does nothing. Missing. Does nothing. I'm dancing. And, and then it's your turn, person. Sarek. I'm, fly. I'm floating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my camera what do went you do? away. Oh, my turn? Sorry, I was busy dancing. Um... I am going to uh, skedazzle. Can I use my bonus action to go like like that? Yep, totally. And uh, am I in? I am in totally. range of firing my longbow. Yes, at this, at this absolutely bad lady yeah. down here. You could go further. The longbow back is if you ridiculous. I do, but right there. You're yeah. not going to be able to outpace the ogre. The ogres can always get it close to you. Yeah, but that's fine. If he chases me down, I'll just dance around him like an idiot. Uh, yeah. All right, let's hit this lady. But now. Nailed her. All right. And then because she's focusing on all y'alls. Skadoosh. Look at that. 27. Oh, oh. Woo. Saving the Yo, day. Yo, damn. Okay. All right. Then that concludes that round. And I think it is time for us to say our goodbyes for today. Oh, my God. And resume this fight next Wednesday. Guys, I just want to point out that we're very close to where we started. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Welcome to DD. <laughs> it's like you know, all these actions, but you never get to use them because this it's is like, like I stand very in similar to where we were when we I started this attack. episode. Uh <laughs> we got punked. Yep. Damn. Oh God. Yeah. I should have oh, known. God. I should have known those two things around the neck were not good, but in fact hey, uh, that means there's another one a too. Trick. I know. There's a third phase. There's a third phase. Really a third phase. We're because the second one's gonna burst and she's gonna come right. back oh, again. Three phase Look, if boss you can... fight. Well, that's when that's All when right. she comes back as a harking. as a one winged bear jewel, and she like right? does like, the whole thing, and then like I didn't realize Stephen had a job at Square Enix now. Yeah, <laughs> he's not aware of that. 
And that was a great encounter. Adding your resume, Steve. I love it. That's why I'm mad. <laughs> It's, it's so good. That's why I hate you. Sapiro. <laughs> He's a bear. Wait, she's a bear. Yeah. And Kara. Yeah, it'll be great. All right. So yeah. that's that's it for us, I guess. We're now <laughs> we are now singing in Latin. That's how this works. Uh but before we get out of here, Britt, what's going on with you this week? Uh I'm still myself. Britt Wiseman, which is how you can out. find me on social media. My name is my handle. And today was fun. And I am very excited to keep turning into a dinosaur. And uh, I don't know. I hope everyone has a good weekend. And we'll see you next week. Please stay healthy and wash your hands. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Stefan, what is happening with you this week? Not much. Um... I think the next episode of Scum and Villainy is like two weekends from now. So even that's like an off weekend this weekend. So you should follow me on Twitter where you can find out all about all my cool role-playing stuff. And I don't know. This is fun. I really like getting to bust out the boss fights and like really challenge y'all. So I'm really excited to see how this continues to unfold because like y'all are so strong. You have no idea how strong you are. You're so strong. <laughs> No, you just rolled a lot of ones, or we were dead like three times I over. I did roll a lot of ones, but, but I also rolled, rolled a lot, lot of ones. Of, I rolled a, a lot, lot of tens in the one. first one, so yeah. But he doesn't mean like physically strong. He means like in our spirit, and that I think is yeah. the important thing. No, it's like y'all are so strong <laughs> here, and I get that. I feel that. That's though. when I wake up every day. I'm like, today I sing a little song to myself. I'm like, today. Vanquish the bear. Right, it's a whole like it's a, it's a work in progress. Anyway, bronze, what's going on with you this week? <laughs> Hi, hello. I'm that bronze girl. Um, oh yeah, humble flex. I'm gonna be on Critical Role in a week. Oh shit, we're never yeah. gonna see you again. You're gonna go on. No, like... I love you guys too much. Um, we knew bronze we'll right before, before everybody else you. knew. It's true. That she was so cool. You loved me when I was a nobody, and therefore mm -hmm. you'll live in my heart forever. Um, You've always been somebody to us. Yeah, when you when when you're finally like living in a mansion and you've got money, I'm gonna show up and be like, hey, hey <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Just straight up babu frick. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. How about that thing? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to be on their Doom one shot, which is like such a perfect fit for me so because cool. I love Doom. I'm going to be a Revenant. Awesome. Doot, doot. And then, oh, uh, right after this, I'm going to be streaming Jesse's game. You are? My, I'm my... playing Max Sexy Max Gentleman, Gentleman Business. Sexy Business? <laughs> yeah. Thank I play you so that. much. I play... yeah, Everybody go yeah. watch Bronze. <laughs> yeah. Really I'm only able to play for a couple hours because then I got a jet, but I am st I'm going to play for a couple hours. We're going to play Max Sexy Gentleman Business time. I can't wait for you That's to how long the sponsored the, stream is, is what you're saying. I can't wait for I'm not going to do it with the nudity mod. I'm not that brave. I'm a square. That's, a but... That's fine, but like, look. They'll still fall in love with you, even if you don't see the biddies. If you know, yay! What I hope so. I hope to win over a comely maiden or sir There's of my many. own. There are many of them. I'm there so many. excited. Yeah, so I'm a plant. It really doesn't matter what Eric does because it will not be as no. good as that. Oh, but everybody. Eric, what are you up to this week? Uh, you know me. I'm just obsessed with fucking Pendragon. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been on that train. Uh, I had to do a couple of solo adventures because you know the Mad Saxon. Uh, remember that story, Stephen? Oh yeah. Oh, I remember right. Neil the Mad Saxon. Uh, I had my own madness event happen for the very first time, yes. and we had a player go through all of that stuff, and so that was super so fun good. this week. Uh, that that game is continuing to be just this amazing slow burn epic that you just could never ever predict. It's so nope. amazing. Love it. Uh, it's my favorite thing uh, ever I've ever run before. So I'm doing that. You can check that out at YouTube uh, to catch up for two hours each session. And if you like Arthur, you know King Arthur, this is this is the story for you. <laughs> I'm so glad that not you the hard bark. You have no idea how many people ask me about yeah. the hard bark. If you're like, can you imagine? All right, I'm just putting this out there in the world. A Pendragon story, but it's Arthur the cartoon. Uh, no. Yeah. Yes, King Just... King Arthur Pendragon. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Not an episode of that show. That oh, has God. to be an episode. Can you yes, do that? Absolutely has to be like, like an Pendragon? Arthur <gasps> Wishbone crossover. 
You have to do a one shot and invite me and Brit, Eric. You have to do Pendragon, but Babar. And Bab. Oh my God. I forgot about Babar. No, Babar you never dragons. forget about Babar. And so we're going to be elephants and we're and you're going to yeah! run it and we're going to come over. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You're thank welcome. you. Yeah, thank you. And Wonder, we shall slay the evil rhinoceroses that are already extinct, but what that's okay. The shit just happened here. Babar. <laughs> We just went like you know three steps around. Babar. Yeah. Babar. Babar. All right. Well, I can't give you crap because you're about to play the best game you've ever played. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, next week we'll be back to our normal schedule, I believe, and everything should be good. So we'll be uh, back to a half hour later than usual. Really? Is it because you're still on a weird time schedule still? We are three weeks off from each other. Yeah. Remember? So we'll, it's always like about a month. Bar. It's terrible. So we'll 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 be at the 10:30 time slot next week, and then the following week, and then we're back to the 10 a.m. time slot. Uh, okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Hold on. I can't leave yet. Keep waving. <laughs> Keep waving. <laughs> that's the show. I have to. Your that's crash. the show. I gotta end it properly. All right, keep waving. Wave more! Whoa, shit, too much. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Now I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a broadcast. <laughs> <laughs>